Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Tip of the Week video. In this tip video, I'm going to give you a solution to what can be a very irritating problem when you're sending emails via the Apple Mail app, uh, both on the Mac and also on iOS. Now, the problem is if I actually compose an email and then I start typing, let's say I want to type an email to uh, Bill Rogers, I start typing Bill and straight away I've got two people that I may have sent an email to in the past, but I certainly can't remember them. And I really don't want them appearing every time that I start typing Bill. So how to get rid of this? Well, you could say, if I just close this down, we'll say don't save. If I go to my contacts, I can find them in here and delete them. But unfortunately, neither of them appear. Neither of them are in my contacts list. So how to get rid of them? Well, the way to do it is to go to what's called the previous recipients list in mail. And to get to that, you select window and then previous recipients. And this is sort of like a local store of uh, people that you've actually sent emails to. It's not in contacts, it's actually in mail itself. You can see here, I've got a huge list of people that I've sent emails to in the past. And each time I try to address an email, uh, if I get a match in here, it will pop up for me. So if I actually do search for Bill here, there are my two entries, but I'm not likely to send any more emails through to Bill St. John. So I'll just go ahead and say, remove from list. If Bill Damon is someone that I want to keep hold of, um, I could always add them to my contacts. So Bill Damon is now in my contacts. Okay, so if I close that down now, and then I do that again, I should just see the one Bill now. There we go, Bill Damon, but he's okay. I'm happy that he would appear. So let's now take a look at the iPhone and see how we can remove people from the previous recipients list on the iPhone. So here on the iPhone, if I go into mail, and let me go ahead and compose an email. Let's say I want to send something to uh, Joe Blogs. So if I type in Joe, we get this whole list of people. Again, most of these I will probably never want to send an email to again, but they keep appearing in my recents list. So to get rid of them, let's say Joe at the top there, Joe online 42 at Mac.com. Tap the I. I can see now that I can share his contact, share my location, create new contact, add to existing contact, and down at the bottom, remove from recents. So if I remove Joe from recents, he's now disappeared from that list. As far as I know, there's no way to go through all your recents uh, in a table view as we saw on the Mac, but um, you could actually go through this list now and start deleting people from here. So I'll say cancel to that and we'll delete the draft. So that's how you clear recents from iOS. If you want to learn more about using your Apple devices, there are over 700 full video tutorials available to Screencast Online members covering all aspects of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Apple TV. Now, all full members receive a new Apple-related video tutorial each and every week, as well as a free subscription to the Screencast Online monthly magazine, packed with videos and articles on getting the most out of your Apple devices. Now, you can get your free 14-day trial membership over at screencastsonline.com, or check out some of the free content over on the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone and Apple TV. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another tip. So I'll speak to you then.